Hello, welcome to Varaski247. If this is your first time in this channel, you haven't subscribed yet, please do so by hitting that red subscribe button. Smash it real hard so you get my notification once I release new videos, okay? And if you're a returning subscriber, I'm grateful for all your support for you sticking with me till this day. Alright, so in today's tutorial, you're going to learn how to create a professional e-commerce website, okay? Um, the reason why I have this is because I've received a lot of notifications a lot of emails and comments based on this feature okay and this is the reason why i have it all right um it's also my obligation to give you the best value so um this is the index page of the e-commerce website uh as you can see these are the products okay the different products that the customer can have an access to all right so this is the add to cart so once i click on this button as you can see the cards updates okay click on the next one it updates to two products right so uh, all this product has been stored in the cart with php section right so that's what we have there and as you can see i'm not signed in yet to the website but i, I can also store products or cards and also view them edit them if i want to i click on this edit button and i can edit products here added three products the unit price of this product is 250 dollars so when i add three it changes the sub total to 750 okay so after sometimes the alert uh, bootstrap class disappears so that's one of the features that are in this tutorial so uh, update this to two product has been updated and i can as well remove some products so if i click on this remove product has been removed from cart so when we go back to shopping now you see you can see uh, the product i have in my cart is now three okay i removed the rolex watch i think yes so this is what i have now so i close that I also have another feature which is quick view where you can see the description of the product I want to buy. So when I click on this first one, I can see the products. Okay. And also zoom and view the products. All right. So there's a library that I downloaded that does this. I'm going to show you once we we'll dive right into the code. So you can see that's the feature and once i click on this product add to cart it will tell me what the product is already added to cart and after some time it closes back so that's that is it um okay if we go back again with a different product it gets the different product based on this uh, category okay so that is just it So if you scroll down here, you can have your description of the product, your reviews, maybe a comment section here, although the, uh, I haven't added the features yet, then information or whatever you want to have there. All right. Okay. Um, so I'm going to click on this card again and try to access this proceed to checkout. So if you click on this proceed to checkout, as I'm not logged in, I won't be allowed to that page. So I'll be redirected to login page where I can enter my details and login. I have a tutorial where I taught how to create a registration and login system in PHP. So do so by checking that out in this description box. Okay. So I'm going to enter my details, login details now. My password. And click on login. So once I click on login, it's going to take me back to edit card page okay where i can also see the product that i've just selected so as you can see it remembers me it knows uh, who i am right so that's why i have the same products in the checkout all right so that is it uh, if i click on this proceed to checkout button it will now take me to the checkout page all right so we can see the other summary, the different products, the unit price, the quantity, and all that. 
the subtotal and also the, the constant de uh, delivery fee of hundred dollar and the total of what one thousand one hundred US dollars. All right. So the checkout has about three steps. The first one is the billing address. Second one is the delivery method. At the third one is the payments method. Okay, where the user will make their payments. So as you can see, the user is being asked here, how do you want your order delivered? So once I click on this, it will take me, tell me, click on change and update your billing address. So that is what I need to do first because I've not updated that. So once I click on this change, click on save, please update your mobile number. If I update my mobile number, it will tell me mobile number cannot be less than or greater than 10 digits so it's supposed to be a 10 digit number so you can still update the same number okay then click on that again enter your address so i can enter any address so i'm going to enter this address and click on save so your address has been updated successfully so after some time it will close down this model prostate model and update it so it means we are done with this first um, checkout step. So next one is the delivery method. So when you click on this confirm order to tell us, tell me to please select any delivery method of your interest. So if I click here, I'll choose the first one, maybe a pickup station. Delivery method selected is pickup station. So once I click on this, what's going to happen is it will close this down and show me the payment method. Okay. So um, as you can see, the sec uh, second step delivery method has been updated. That's why I have this check. Okay. And you selected pickup station as your delivery method. All right. So that is it. And then we'll have the third step, which is the payment method. As you can see here, what I have here is the uh, PayPal Smart payment button. Okay. I have a video where I taught how you can be able to integrate that. It's in the description box. Just check that out. All right. So the other summary has the list of the product, the units, and also the quantities as explained. All right. I can also from here modify the card. Okay, I want to modify the card now and change this to one. All right, I want to change it to one. Okay, and proceed to checkout. So I'm back here again. I also have another feature where I use a customer can enter a promo code or a voucher code if they have one right so once i click on this it tells me promote code cannot be empty so if i now enter a random string maybe a wrong voucher code and click on that it will tell me what you entered the wrong voucher code all right so the right one is viral scale 247 all right so that's the right promo code. I remember this is what I have in my total uh, purchase price, which is 600 US dollars. Okay, so when I redeem it, congratulations, your new total purchase price is $120, 20% off. Okay, so when I click on OK, it refreshes and tells me the promo code has been applied. As you can see, yeah, my total price is what $120. And what if I go back again to modify the cart? maybe increase my product um, back to three okay uh, update that promo has been updated then back to the proceed checkout button it resets everything okay so that is a very nice uh, because a user can be can update their cards why they have already applied uh, their promo code so i'm going to do that again so my total price is 101,100 us dollars and i've applied my promo code it's reduced it to 220 dollar 
Okay, so what I have here is $220. All right, uh, we are now going to proceed to the payment, which is the third step. So what we have here is $220. We'll see uh, what we're going to have in our paper payment platform. Okay, so when I click on this, you can pay with, with PayPal, that's if you have an account with them, or you can pay with the debit or credit card of any uh, cards, be it a Visa, Master, Valve, uh, American Express, or whatever. Okay, you can receive payment from all over the world. So maybe I'll be making payments with the debit or credit card button. So I've click on it. All right. Okay, this is where I can enter. My card details all right so um i have a card here okay as spies um let me say 11 to that number one so my csv is what 262 remember this is a text payment uh, this is a demo it's not a real payment then um you can change your country here but i'm going to leave it at the united states first name uh let me say uh donald last name trump okay street address i'll just add this city white house states tennessee then my uh zip code 37188 all right the mobile number that's what i have then my email uh let me say i'll enter donald trump at gmail.com Okay, so I'll click on pay. Okay, it's redirecting me back to where the success page. All right, uh, here we are. We're on the success page. And as you can see, I have the list of the products, okay, that has been paid for. All right, uh, this is the first one, the second one, the quantity, and also as well as the unit price. The reason why I have this in my sausage space is so you can be able to know how uh, maybe the admin, because e-commerce websites are supposed to have an admin panel where they can view the, the product list and everything of the customer, okay. So that's why I just have this right here all right so um that is just it so when we head over to our database to check the payments um the table is being updated you can see donald trump at gmail.com the payer email this is the account email right and uh, this is the amount 220 dollar and other id and the rest of the uh payment transaction uh details of the customer and the delivery method remember we picked pickup station this is what i have here so once the uh, admin has an access to the details like i just have i just had to put it here okay so you also learn how to fetch that all right so that's just about it and if we go back to home our cart is empty okay i've destroyed the session all right, so if I've learned something new, let's again dive right into the code so you understand how I did all that, all right?